Hello everyone, this is Shadow Dragon back on the DCUO test server for some more Wonderverse coverage. So a couple of days ago they added the, the feats in that were missing before. Um, previously we only saw like the feats for the open world. So now we can uh, take a look at the rest. Um, I don't know if it's all here, but I know that some of the solo and uh, alert ones are around. So you can use the link to either the top or upper right to get to those videos where I actually run the solo and alert. And then we can apply uh, whatever knowledge we get from this feat list. Alright, so it seems like when they add them in, they they kind of left uh, the old ones up top. So I, I, I hope this is the order they have it in when it goes live because it's putting all the the open world ones first and then we're gonna start getting into the new stuff so all these ones that say patchwork themscare those are all the open world counters and stuff um, then we've got uh, generator mods to collect so starting right here is when we get into the on duty so starting with the solo uh, as expected there's the hard knocks. Let's see. Is that using the the reason why I'm reading this one over is because there are multiple versions of the solo. So it seems like you only need to get the hard knocks once. You you don't have to do it in every version. And then they've got uh, green source wall fragments to collect. And you see that there's different colors here. So these are probably from the four versions of the solo because um, it is mentioning the temple, so the temple of Aphrodite for the green. And then for the blue, you have um, Athena. So I think the, the way I would approach this is I'd probably just do the queue up every day because that, that's a little bit more convenient than, than doing the walk-ins because you know they're in different locations on the map. Um, and then I would kind of make up the one that falls behind uh, by using the walk-ins. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I explained this before, but uh, there are four versions of the solo. If you queue up either this version here or the event version, um, it will be a random four. I think only the first time it's fixed, I'm, I'm guessing. Um, just going by the storyline. But if you, if you don't want to randomize it, if there's like a specific um, boss that you need, or if you're, um, like I mentioned, if you're behind on one of those counters, um, there are walk-ins across the open world map to, to each four of those temples. Alright, so let's get the feats back up. Um, I actually didn't notice anything to interact with um, before, so if this video is not too long, uh, I'll go queue up for one of the solos and we'll take a look at what these things refer to. Um, but that's the advantage of having the, the feat list. It, it points you to certain things to do that you normally wouldn't um, come across naturally. So complete the following feats. Um, so this is just an overall one for if you complete these. Um, it's Greek to me. Let's see. Normal or event. Solve the chamber of ritual without making any mistakes. Um, yeah, this one is expected. There are a bunch of puzzle rooms in the alert, as you can see if you click on the link to the upper right or top. Um, there, there are a bunch of puzzle rooms in the alert before um, you're allowed to move along. Now, in a normal daily run, you would just forget the puzzle and just keep battling your way through until you get the right um, combination. But obviously there are going to be feats for doing that without error, so um, these feat runs are going to be a little bit longer, uh, 
at, le at least until you get used to like where everything, uh, where all the combinations might appear. All right, so this is uh, another alert one. Solve the uh, the chamber of relics without error. So th um, this one here is um, let's see. Solve the chamber of rituals without making error. Um, so rituals, I think, is the one where you're placing the weapons on the statue. And that was pretty much a matching game, from what I remember. Uh, this one is noticing the artifacts along along the way in the beginning uh, beginning part of the alert, and you kind of you have to remember that for the puzzle room. And let's see, art restoration. Okay, so the armory one is the one where you're uh, configuring the statues. Um, the oh, it's Greek to me is the one with the Greek symbols, and then um, antiquing is the artifacts. Um, holistic cri cryptography. This is probably the overall. Um, solve all three chambers and destroy all three magical wards within eighteen seconds. Oh wow, that is tough. So it seems like this one, what you have to do is set all but one in each of the three rooms. Um, then you're setting the last one of each really quickly. Um, you could probably split up, I'm guessing. This one we'll have to play with, whether we do it as a group or we, we split into three. I mean, we'll have to gauge how quickly the ads can be taken out. So yeah, that's an interesting one. Oh wait, here's another one with solve all three. Oh wow, solve all three with, by making all errors. Ooh. Th this one would probably take a really long time. And another alert one, defeat Queen Diana without anyone having an attack reflected by her bracers. I'm thinking this one's pretty easy. I mean, once you get used to it. I mean, this fight teaches you to block most of the time anyway. So as long as... Like, I'm thinking we get this one almost every time. That that seems to be a normal run for me. But the, the teams I run with tend to be defensive anyway, like defensive and strategy-based. Strategy so maybe that's just me speaking for the league. <laughs> but, yeah, we, we tend to get things like this on almost every run. Um, let's see, defeat Queen Diana after being... We can buy her at least seven times. I'm not exactly sure what that one means because I'm not. I don't know which attack is debuffing us. Uh, another alert one for Poseidon. Um, without anyone being hit by an abyssal eruption. I think. The, the abyssal, abyssal eruption is probably those purple circles that come up randomly. Uh, dishonorable Discharge, Defeat Poseidon after spelling at least 18 water soldiers before they fully awaken. Okay, so these are the ads that you, we have to interact with. Um, what what I was afraid of was the feat would be disable all of them, dispel all of them, um, because that looked impossible based on like the size of the circle of the battlefield. Like, there's no way we can get to all of them. I don't think. 
So with um, with the count being 18, um, I just wonder if that's an infinite loop. Like if you keep him alive, I wonder if that keeps cycling or if it's possible to miss it, like if you damage him too quickly. So um, yeah, another thing we have to feel out, it doesn't sound like it's super hard. Um, okay, the raid ones, um, I'm not familiar with the raid, so uh, I'm not really going to have an idea of how to do these. Um, but here they are. Uh, Fire Bad and Wonderverse. Fractured God Sphere. So they're allowing uh, this one is normal or elite. Have no one in the raid group fall and get knocked out in the fire pit room. Um, so another God Sphere one. Uh, elite, no one trigger and choke on flower traps in the new Genesis section. Event only. That that's kind of odd. Fracture. They're giving an event only one. So that means you have to run the event one at least once. Hive leader one time in your Genesis in section. <laughs> and let's see, we got a normal only. Okay, th this is the same feat as this, but one is event and one is normal. <laughs> that is really weird. <laughs> and this is, this is the same one, but in Elite. So, so yeah, eventually you have to run all three of them to get that one. Anti-Ambrosia. <clears throat> uh, have no one use Athena's Ambrosia in the fight against Grail. This is the same one. Okay, this is different. Never allow Grail to use her Omega Beam. That's the Elite version. <clears throat> Never interrupt Grail while she powers up her Omega Beams. That's probably one for the tank to watch because I, I imagine the tank would be the one to interrupt and then the, um, that's the elite version of that one. Stonebreaker, defeat all of the effigy statues in under two minutes during the Zeus fight. Do not allow more than effig four effigy statues to be out at one time. Normal or elite prevent Zeus from doing his Omega Source Blast. Do not prevent Zeus from doing his Omega Source Blast. See, I know no idea how hard these are yet. Do not touch or get hit by Zeus's source storms. I imagine any of the raid ones are pretty hard because th this means like eight people being able to do this. Uh, during the grill fight, have no one in the raid group get knocked out. So this is sort of like a, a group hard knocks one. And then that's, um, this is the elite version of it. So that's a hard knocks on Zeus. And then elite version. 
So I think we we do a fair bit of, um, of feats to to get. Most are naturally from the raid. Um, I think the alert one it doesn't seem stacked, but they they are kind of grindy because of the puzzle ones. And then obviously the solo, the solo ones they do seem to be a grind. Um, 78, 78. Um, why don't I go ahead and start one just to see what they look like. Just so we know what we're looking for. I imagine they're all going to be the same shape and probably just different color. Okay, so this, that's got to be one of them. So, the Temple of Aphrodite is the green one. So maybe they're in all of these uh, green pools, or maybe... Well, well, we'll see what kind of acts as the clue. So here's a second one, and it's in the green pool, or whatever this green, rocky, slime thing is. We got three right in the beginning. Um, I'm going to go ahead and play through this and I'll give you a final count at the end. Um, no reason for me to record the entire solo. Okay, so we're at the end here. And so far, I was able to get uh, seven of them. Uh, I didn't check out to see if there was anything in this room. But we'll take a look after the fight. But otherwise, everything was um, before the mid-boss. And then there was one in the mid-boss room. Keep your trivial cool. Another victory for the Council. The Grail's interference continues to be on our side. And they, they are pretty obvious, like you're, you're not going to miss any as you run through this. There, there are tons of good hiding spots that they didn't use though. <laughs> so yeah, nothing in the final room. And... Um, I'm thinking that's probably consistently seven, uh, just based on where I found them, because they, they look like pretty obvious spots. So that would basically take 11 runs um, in each of the solos. And um, I, I kind of think that would probably complete or get close to completing if you just run it naturally, like without trying to force it. Although like you know the way the community is. they're gonna try to force it on day one by just keep spamming the solo <laughs> but yeah it doesn't seem like a lot and um, if you happen to be behind because of RNG on one of them just use the walk-ins uh, along the map all right uh, that'll be it from here uh, stay tuned for more and thanks for watching